It's your girl, VK Jehanum, and I'm going to discuss the Order of the Nine Angles variety of Satanism, traditional Satanism as they call it. My hope in this video is that some fledgling Satanists who have been looking into the O9A and are considering becoming traditional Satanists might reconsider. Because the Order of the Nine Angles really wants to, they do everything in their power to drive home the point that their brand of Satanism is the only valid brand of Satanism. They refer to other types of Satanists as pseudo-Satanists. So what I want to do in this video is convince y'all that the O9A's type of Satanism is, in reality, the least valid type of Satanism there is. And that's very easy to demonstrate um, logically, if you have a basic familiarity with their satanic literature. If you don't have a basic familiarity with their satanic literature, um, this video probably won't help you in any way. So the Order of the Nine Angles sees the West as lost, as fucked. Um, they believe that the West has lost its native ethos, its honor, its native spirituality, etc. So their goal is to destroy Western civilization and then rebuild it uh, in the hopes that Western civilization will return to its perceived former greatness. And they pursue this end in numerous ways, numerous you know, mundane ways, non-magical ways, including encouraging jihad among Muslims, uh, attempting to radicalize political movements, uh, and committing crime. See, their point of view is that by committing crime, you are contributing to the downfall of Western society, and therefore moving them closer towards their eventual goal. Now, The Onine says that in order to be a real Satanist, you have to be evil and you have to be a criminal or an aspiring criminal. You have to commit crimes. Otherwise, you aren't really Satanic. You aren't sinister, blah, blah, blah. But you got to read between the lines with that. Like I said, they're trying to encourage crime to achieve a socio-political agenda. So when they say, oh, you aren't a real Satanist unless you're evil and illegal, what they're saying is you're only a Satanist if you aid in the fulfillment of our political agenda. It's a manipulation tactic. See, when I was younger and less experienced with Satanism, me and the people practicing dark magic with me, we had this kind of like supervillain persona almost. We felt dark, we felt scary. We were like proudly wearing our pentagrams, dressed in all black, making people uncomfortable, yelling hail Satan in contexts where it was not socially acceptable to do so. <laughs> Trying to make a fuss. We felt quite uh, ominous and menacing. Uh, so what the O9A is trying to do when they talk about, oh, you aren't really satanic, is they're trying to appeal to that supervillain mentality or people who want to have that supervillain mentality and use their ego to get them to do something fucking stupid, something that is potentially against their own best interests, but might serve the socio-political agenda of the O9A. Now, I have a very good reason to say that the O9A's variety of Satanism is the least valid type of Satanism there is, and you will find that reason throughout the O9A's Satanic literature. The O9A's Satanic literature repeatedly refers to traditional Satanism as a novitiate pathe mathos. So pathe mathos, that's um, gaining wisdom through adversity. And novitiate means, you know, of or pertaining to novices. 
It's a novitiate pathe mathos. It's a temporary phase for beginners. Or at least that's what it's meant to be. That's what it was designed to be. Their type of Satanism isn't meant to last, and throughout the Onine's literature, they will repeatedly state that Satanism is just a tool for its agenda. It's a tool for the socio-political agenda of the Onine, and it's a phase meant for beginners to go through. So again, uh, Satanism is not meant to be a phase. It's a valid spiritual path like any other. If your denomination of Satanism is just a phase, then your, va your version of Satanism is a joke. Other varieties of Satanism have so much thought and research and work put into them. Most other varieties of Satanism are built to last. Not to be edgelord phases for people that David Mayat was able to convince to be criminals. You understand? So if you're choosing different types of Satanism to practice, the O9As, that's the one that's supposed to be a fucking edgelord phase, dude. It's in their literature. If you're looking at becoming a Satanist, what do you want to get out of Satanism? Do you want a fulfilling spiritual path? Or do you want an immature phase for you to go through? Because no one gets into a religion or spiritual path hoping to find a immature phase. Now, the modern O9A community has a lot of die-hard Satanists. Satanists who believe that their Satanism is the only Satanism. And Satanists who plan to pursue and follow that Satanism for the rest of their lives. And what they're doing by choosing to become lifelong O9A Satanists is to turn something that was designed to be an immature phase and make it a permanent way of life. That's not what Maya had in mind when he developed traditional Satanism. And the fact that they know that Satanism is supposed to be an immature phase for them and intend to stick with it forever, it's a mind-numbingly stupid decision. It is. The O9A originally intended to use Satanism as one of its tools, but basically got consumed by it. David Myatt is like a video game developer who created a long campaign only to have most of the people who tried his game just play level one on repeat. Not that level two is much better. Frankly, I think the game should be thrown away. Now, there's another problem with the O9A's brand of Satanism. So, the O9A's brand of Satanism comes with an initiation rite, a ritual to become a Satanist, become an O9A black magician. And in this ritual, you are supposed to draw a sigil, which you are told represents the dark gods venerated by the O9A. You offer your blood on this sigil, And you're told you're offering to the gods, but you're kind of being tricked if you take that step. You see, the Onine's magic incorporates an, a man-made artificial current. 
The deities they follow and work with are real. You'll find them throughout world religion. But this artificial man-made spiritual current causes these deities to manifest in specific ways. Frankly, it limits the deities and limits your experience with and of said deities. Now, that sigil of the dark gods, you'll see it in various places throughout O9A literature, but it isn't always labeled the sigil of the Nikala, or dark gods. Sometimes it's presented as a sigil of the O9A's magical tradition, the Sevenfold Way. Other times, you'll see it presented as the sigil of Vindex. Vindex is their little made-up Antichrist figure. It's not real. It's another manipulation tactic. Um, if you read enough of the O9A's literature about Vindex, you'll see the same quote used to describe Vindex over and over again. Now, if you look up a man, a historical figure named Gaius Julius Vindex, you will find a quote by a historian named Cassius Dio describing Gaius Julius Vindex. And then you'll notice that the description of Vindex the Antichrist is almost a verbatim reproduction of that historian's quote about that historical figure. So Vindex is a lie. So when you offer your blood on that sigil, thinking you're offering it to the Dark Gods, you're offering it to Vindex, which basically comes down to offering your blood to the socio-political agenda of the O9A, to their Aeonic Sorcery. And again, that sigil also represents their magical tradition. So you're offering the, your own blood to strengthen this artificial man-made spiritual current that you do not understand. So when you perform their initiation rite and they say, hey, this is how you offer your blood to the gods, don't do it. You're tying yourself to things that never had your best interests in mind. Namely, that current and that socio-political agenda. In order to wrap this up, I'm going to discuss a third manipulation tactic of the O9A called the Labyrinthos Mythologicus. Basically, the O9A claims that it has released the truth about its movement and its path and its goals. But it's also released a bunch of lies about that same movement, that same path, and those same goals. You must use dark empathy, clear cognizance and intuition, to deduce the true nature of the O9A. When you think you're seeing through the lies and finding the truth about the O9A, what you're doing is you're choosing which parts of the O9A's self-contradicting corpus you do and don't agree with. That's why you got Niners who think that the O9A is all about Nazism. You've got Niners that think the O9A is all about Satanism, so on, so fucking forth. The Labyrinthos Mythologicus is just a fishnet to get as many different types of fish as possible working towards the same socio-political agenda, offering their blood to the same man-made spiritual current. So don't fucking do it.